Hey guys, welcome to my blog, my video, um, YouTube, um, um, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. You know, I'm in the city of Derby, you know, I'm sitting on one of the benches just right there if you can see, you know, where, um, and it's evening, so everybody's passing. But you know, I just want to take this opportunity to say, um, you know, in the same thing, in, in the same breath that we actually um, view and we understand human beings sometimes we haven't got much you know challenges and things that you know and we all look and it's something that sometimes we are afraid to admit but we do look um, the things for entertainment whether it's a soap whether it's a um, something of the social media or something but one of the things that I would encourage all of us for as a public speaker is that ensure what tantalize and what give us that sort of joy and happiness is not um, the misery of others you know and when I speak as a public speaker I don't need to speak my personal opinion or personal feelings at all I'm uh, far above that what I do is to encourage people on a world global scale uh, because you see what happened is that in the same breath that people you know bad news and this is known factor travel so fast bad news it travel it's travel that it's it travels faster than the speed of light mix up and controversy and mix and, and things that cause anguish and pain and bitterness it travels like wildfire stigma across the globe you know and what we are saying especially the time that we're living in that teenage um teenage pregnancy uh, a massive of alcohol pedophilia rape grooming terrorism and a whole lot of uh, violence on the land especially in uh, <clears throat> in um, just near you where you are it's our concern how do we stop it it's not just to say because it's not in my home or it's not in my close proximity in my thinking you know and i don't concern about it but how do we stop it by first man in the mirror make sure that the thing that makes tick your button or tick your fancy is something that is uh, good and right and with that same passion that you go after bad news and you go after things that is not desirable, do it for goodness, do it for the good news, do it for the things that is beautiful and bright and light. And oftentimes when we say, people admit, oh, there's no problem, but why is it that we have got so many suicide? Why is it that we have so many crime? Why is it that drugs dealer and all of these issues in the land you see what I'm trying to say? So we're not asking a question. We are declaring, we are telling that this is the reason. You know, if there's more goodness and light and illumination, then we understand that there will be beauty. Oh, come on. And I'm not preaching. I'm just stating the fact that it is so that we are living into an age and the age that we are living in is that things that hurt other people is what is such a passion for other people but what we say is that if we know and we understand ourselves and understand um, life and the more and our mortality then we understand that the greatest thing is to make sure that our purpose is fulfilled concentrate on our business because you know what happened? Judge nothing before the time. Or don't judge a matter because of hearsay. Or what you think. Or what you hear. Or all, you know, the he say, she say, be say, you know. Judge it because it is factual. And that is the way it goes. We are going to stand up. Because as a public speaker, I will speak and speak and speak and speak and I will not stop speaking because as I said before I do not speak myself and my office do not speak because you know it's a personal um, issue but it is because it is because there is a reason and the reason is fundamental Lee has to establish true peace
through administration, the respectability factor and the operation of it. We have institutions, we have organizations to deal and delegate and deal with all issues that is immoral or criminal. But let us not join with other people in crime. Let us not collaborate for crime. Let us stand together to bring unity, to bring peace. Dr. Sean Linton office stand for the peace for the entire world and nation. We are not a joke and we are not here to disappear or play in social media and get into that. But what we are doing together is to establish the full. That's what we are establishing. What is good for our young people, for our children and young people, for the future, for the entire future. We are saying this, that we know this one thing that if the voice speak into the dark and continue to speak, then there is the beginning of light, of light. Come on, join with me. Let's illuminate in order to get rid of the dark. Cause when the light is switched on, trust me, there is no darkness, but we stand together in unity for all people. Let us laugh and joke and have fun and enjoy life in the right context and order. Because dear Razi, I know you're going to say, oh, I'm all right, but there's a whole lot of devastation around you. It's your concern. It's, your, it's everybody's concern. And the only way to do this is to pick up the right mantle, to stand in the right order, to be the correct, correct, Stay the man. I'll be giving a whole lot more video in Derby City Town. So it's a good evening. And I've got a and I've got a run. And it's Friday. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Whatever you do, make sure it is safe and you know it, it, you bring help and joy to someone else. Never had misery to no one. Always had. When you leave, don't take away anything from anybody add something that people like to be in your presence you know always give and not be a taker remember you're a light and you've got purpose and do not not at no time think that you're not important and that you have not got a reason you have a reason and the reason is you're here let your light shine and be the best you and do that every day have a good friday enjoy your weekend and be uh, and be happy <laughs> and joyful take care happy friday